you're welcome to my channel. Today we'll be drafting Ankara flared dress with a turtleneck. Okay, so I'll be using this uh, African print for this beautiful style. So this is it. This is the old yard. Though I won't be using the old fabric. Okay, so you fold it savage to savage. Just the way I'm doing this savage to savage. Make sure it's aligned properly. Okay, then you measure your desired length for the dress. Okay, so this is about um, 60 inches for this particular client. 60 inches plus 2 inches for Emmy allowance. Okay, so this is the length. Then I'll get that out so that it will be easy to drag on the table. Then I'll measure the both points, which is about 12 inches. Okay. Then the neck width is three inches. Then I'll measure the shoulder also. Okay, I'll be using eight inches plus half for ease. So from the shoulder, I'll come down by one inch. Then I'll measure the arm O. For this particular dress is about, I think, eight and a half. Okay, so whatever I have at the shoulder, I'll also take it to the arm O area. So that it can be it can be straight okay and i will create the arm o this way and you know to create your arm o is your bust round divided by six plus 1.5 inches so whatever i have there i found the midpoint then came in by three quarter inch in order to create the arm o curve properly Then you connect it this way. So now, creating the neck depth. Okay, I'll be using four inches. And the neck width, I use three and a half. Okay, because I don't want it to be too tight on this client's neck. Then at the arm hole now, I'm going to measure the bust round, as in the upper chest line. I'll be measuring the bust, a quarter of the bust round. Okay, then plus um any allowance you want to use for ease so i added one one inch for ease then two inches for seam allowance if one inch is too much for ease you can use half then coming down to the m i measure the a quarter of the hip round plus the seam allowance then i use the whole whatever is left there's about 10 inches or so so that's what i'm going to use for the flay okay so from this um, upper chest line now, I'm going to connect it down to the aim of the dress. So you can see how I'm going to connect this using my long ruler. So you connect it slightly. From the last edge of the aim, you connect it to the where you measured for your bust round and the seam allowance, which is on the upper at the upper chest line. So, just try to make it more visible. So, this is what it looks like. I hope you can see it properly. Okay. So, I'll go ahead and cut out the fabric for the back also because this is the front. So, I'll use the front to cut it out. Just do some little adjustment on it. So for the neck depth of the back, I'll be using, I think, one and a half inch. Okay, you can use one or one and a half inches. Then the arm O, you know, this one is just going to be a mild cuff. It won't be, there won't be need for the three quarter inch of, as a coming in by three quarter inch at the arm O round. Then you cut it out. So note, I only cut out the neck line for the back. So now I'll remove the back out, then go back and work on the front. Then I'll cut out the actual neckline for the front and also the actual arm hole for the front. You know, I have to cut out the back first. Yes. Okay. So this is our front now. So. 
so this is what it looks like and we use this kind of neck depth because um a, a bishop collar is coming in so that's why is the, the neckline is not so deep then you join by the shoulder and also join by the seam so before we do that let's come back to the front pattern because there's an opening at the front so now first i want to decide um, the waistline again i should have done that while cutting the clothes so I just measure where the uh, waistline is, went down by one and a half inch. This is to enable me fix pockets to this dress. From the waistline, you come down by one inch or one and a half for pocket. Then at the center front, I measure about five inches. I think I later reduce it to four inches for the opening at the front. This one depends on you. Then remember, notice I only slash it open i did not remove any uh, fabric from it i only cut it open then i i pick a little fabric to work as facing for me to turn that side that opening i created at the center so you open the small fabric also to the same length in order to use it as facing for that opening before fixing your neck um your bishop collar so this is how it will be i'll place the right side to right side you see the way it is then i'll sew on from the upper part yes you sew it down to follow it as a v neck the way you're done you turn the small facing the material for facing inward again okay so you have to do that one first you can see so i've done it and i've torn it to the inside but it's going to be right side to right side while sewing so now let's work on the on the collar so since i've secured the opening so now we have to measure from one center front to the other you can see so but first is it how you measure it round or you demarcate Okay, the market. I mean, you measure the front first, then you go back and measure the back. Okay, so I think the one I use now is you pick the from center front to your shoulder joining, measure whatever you have from center point to your shoulder joining. Yes, that's my shoulder joining. So this one will serve for the front. And what I have is four three quarter, which is four point seven five inches. Okay, then from the same shoulder joining, you will now measure again and take it to your center back. Take it to the center back. So I have three and a half inches. I hope you understand. I put together the center front. And I measure to my shoulder joint. Okay, so just mark it that way. Then, then we'll draw a straight line. Then you marked a point on that straight line. Then from the straight line, I'm going to measure the back first. So I measure 3.5. Then to the other side, I measure the front, which is 4.743 quarter. Then at the center back, I went up by three and a half in order to have a little cuff, just like this. Then I will go ahead at the center front to measure the height of the collar that I want, which is one and a half. Then I will measure the one and a half all through. Okay, this is it. I hope you understand this part or you just watch it carefully. So this center back, then I went in by a quarter inch just to have a little slant line. This is just to help the collar to lay well at the back. So if you like, you can create a little curve 
like this at the center front remember the center front is going to be open you can create the curve or you just leave it like that just like a rectangle so this is it go ahead and cut it out carefully then when you're cutting on fabric please remember to fix to put in your sewing allowance so this is it i pick up some scrap leftover scrap from the same fabric that to use it for the color like i said remember to add your joining allowance which is half inch then now cut out another piece which will serve as a lining so remember you are cutting two pieces for this on fold so i notched the down part so that it will be easy to identify and also mark the inside so this is very helpful when your the front and back of the fabric looks alike so this is it put out the first one lay, lay the two together then i'm going to stitch just the way my hand goes the upper part we're going to stitch it so i went ahead and stitched the upper parts and the side then we'll pick the fabric and connect it to the neckline so i also went ahead to notch the center back also so that you can it will be easy to attach the collar and the if this if you start from there then you now pin it from so now i pick the right side of the collar attach it to the inside of the dress the right side of the collar attached to the inside of the dress so i'm going to stitch the inside first and finish it up at the outside so this is in you pin it down please it's very important so it will come towards the center front and in case there's excess you go back and adjust it on the color so this is it i've done that i've stitched you now go back you can see so you now turn to the right side of the dress and fold in your half inch from the color then you top so this is the end result this is the color neatly fixed and this is a simple flare dress so i hope you find this video helpful please remember to give it a thumbs up and if you are yet to subscribe to my channel please subscribe also remember to put on your notification bell so thank you guys for watching i'll see you in my next video bye